Hi friends, our next live session for all of our course enrolled students will be on the coming Sunday, which is the 2nd of January 2022 at 7 p.m. This live session will be part two of graph neural networks that we started in the previous week. The prerequisites for this session will be that you should have gone through the graph neural networks part one, where we have described the basics and given a very thorough introduction to the topic. And you you're also expected to know the basics of deep learning algorithms and deep learning architectures, starting with convolutional neural networks all the way up to attention models. Uh, previously, in part one of this live session, we first understood the formulation behind graph neural networks by taking some simple real world examples. And what are the challenges of using a straightforward neural networks like your MLPs or CNNs for graph data structures? Then we built a very simple, very basic graph neural network from first principles. And then we understood the concepts of message passing, pooling and aggregation very thoroughly. In part two of this live session, we will understand a real world example of how a graph neural network can be used for a problem in chemistry on some molecular compounds. We'll take a real world problem, design a simple architecture and also understand how hyperparameters typically impact the graph neural network, which is very important to understand. Then we'll discuss some miscellaneous topics like how do you sample uh, from a graph? How do you create batching when you have to do batch based training of a graph neural network? And we'll also touch upon graph attention mechanisms itself. Again, if time permits, we'll cover more topics than these. But these are the minimum set of topics that we will cover in part two of this series. Again, overall, the topic of graph neural networks itself could take us three to four live sessions because we don't want to water down on the rigor. We want to cover it very rigorously from first principles, both applications as well as the underlying concepts and code. So it may take us three to four live sessions, but that's OK because we want our students to learn this topic thoroughly that they can apply it on real world problems by the end of these live sessions. So I'm assuming that we might take up to four live sessions, but we'll see how we progress through the second one and then decide based on that. Again, this part two live session of graph neural networks will be via AirMeet. You'll get an AirMeet link on your registered email addresses. Just to make a note, this will be on the 2nd of Jan, which is a coming Sunday at 7 p.m. See you all.